precious cargo. You can't be dealing with me and other people at the same time. No. and welcome back to my channel i am back with another video and in this video i'll be spilling all the tea about my high school life yo drama on top of drama i don't think that there was much that happened in my grade eight and nine years so i'm not going to dwell much on them except for the fact that i also met some amazing people that i cherish today in my life um so grade 10 right grade 10 I have friends now right so I had this friend um, who used to talk to this boy who talked to this boy so it's fine but my, my friend didn't seem that interested right so ugh, it's fine we used to have a boy school. we had a boy school only not far from my school so yeah you get you, you, you get it so um, we would go there during a competitions uh, masses those kind of things so uh, I remember it was a uh, Bible trivia and then I met this guy in church and we instantly hit it off right so uh, that guy was the guy that my friend was talking to and yeah I know you're probably judging me right now but ugh, my friend was okay with it but her friends were not okay with it so I'm like what the fuck Was the guy talking to you why wouldn't you be okay with that so i'm not gonna mention any names because i'm not trying to give anyone credit like so there was one specific girl who was telling my friend to stay away from me what i did is unforgivable and i'm not a good person so she should like stay far far away from me and i'm like why is she so concerned because the guy was not talking to her like why but okay, it was grade 10, I missed it, right? So I didn't really care much about her because she wasn't my friend. So what she said didn't have any impact on me. So, but I was just questioning myself as to why she would be telling my friend all those things. But it's fine. Me and the guy got into a relationship and ugh, we broke up three months later. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we broke up three months later, but it was a good three months. Uh, I actually enjoyed being with him. And we are very good friends now. So, grade 11, right? That's where everything gets deep. I get chosen as a prefect, and I'm like, wow, this is a great opportunity. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for it, and I'm going to make the most out of this year so it turns out that my ex was also chosen as a prefect so we would actually see each other often uh, because we had meetings discussing uh, competitions uh, events and those kind of things so me and my ex were not on good terms for like half the year and we only got onto good terms later that year so um, i'll dwell into it as the story goes on so i'm chosen as prefect right and whatever i did would be questioned by people so i didn't actually mind that but like they would actually try to find fault in every little thing i did like literally every little thing i did so that's how i actually saw that people were generally against me because i wasn't doing much wrong but you know how people are and it didn't actually matter to me because they were not my friends they were not helping me in any way they were not beneficial to me in any matter so it's fine so i don't quite remember what i did but like i said they would question everything that I did. So this other day, we were going to write an exam, right? Grade 11. I, I, I don't remember what exactly the exam was, uh, which, which subject the exam was, but I just remember that those people 
there was like you know what happened ne? people that hated me recruited other people to hate me so ha- that's how uh, the hate grew like um why do you have to recruit somebody to hate somebody else like why can't you just do it on your own and funny enough like some of the people that were in my group were people that i was close to and i even my desk mate even my desk mate imagine and she was so guilty the week after but okay let me tell you what happened so there's a girl called Koki, right? Not me. A, another girl called Koki who's in my class. Koki comes to me and she's like, Koki, what did you do to those people? Because your name is being discussed. Like, for real, for real. And I'm like, I don't know. What are you talking about? And then she says that I thought that they were talking about me. So I went there to hear what they were saying about me. And then it turned out that they were talking about you. So I'm like, all this time they have been sitting there and discussing me. Wow, during exam time, imagine, you could have been doing so much better. So, um, I didn't quite hear what they were saying, but I know that someone was like, um, Cookie, Cookie thinks that she's so perfect uh, with her English from the dictionary. Like, they were like, Cookie wears fakes. What the fuck? I don't even like brand brands. So... But anyway, I'm like, do people actually have to start lying about me to, so that people could hate me? Like, okay, if I wear fakes, what does that have to do with you? How does it bother you? Because you're not the one wearing the fake. I am. So, like, I'm like, they have been sitting there three whole hours discussing my name. Whereas they could have been reading, studying so that they could ace their exams but i'm like i'm not going to entertain these people they don't matter to me so but it it did make me question as to why what 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 bothered them so much about me why were they so intimidated by me like if they had problems regarding me why didn't they just come tell me what their problem was instead of sitting recruiting other people to hate me and talk about me so I didn't quite understand that so but it didn't matter anyway I actually thought it was just because I was a prefect and most of them envied my position so the my desk mate was also a prefect and I was like but you know when you're beautiful with good grades and you have all these opportunities coming your way I guess that's what happens hey <laughs> so yeah Fast forward uh, later that year, my ex and I decided to like uh, mingle, rekindle our. We were not back together, but we were vibing, you know. So, as we were vibing, right, um, I remember he was also busy with other girls, and I told him that if you're not going to be exclusive with me, I'm not going to do this. So, you have to choose. And he was like, okay, I get you. I'm gonna be exclusive with you so let's do this so i hear again that he's busy with other girls and there was hostel off school property so they would go there and he would yo i remember like there was this other hostel right they said that he kissed all the girls there they were playing some game and he kissed all the girls literally all of them imagine all of them so imagine like imagine he told me that he was going to be exclusive with me and he kissed about 10 7 i don't know how many girls there were but imagine kissing so many people and at the end of the day wanting to come and kiss me so the next day was uh, that weekend not the next day that weekend was an event at my school a very big event i looked cute and all i made sure that i went all out so there was an event and he wanted to talk to me and i was like so pissed because how could you promise me something and then you go ahead and do the opposite like i know that we're not together but you should respect me at least like i'm a precious cargo you can't be dealing with me and other people at the same time no Uh -uh. but yeah 
and that's what he did and then i told him that i had a problem with it and i'm not gonna entertain him anymore and he apologized he even pinky promised guys pinky promised <laughs> Ooh, let me tell you what happened i'm a dumbass i'm a dumbass we had fun that day i literally had so much fun with him and right after they left he went to the hostel off school property and took some girl to go spend the night with him in his school imagine the audacity to take a girl to spend the night with you at a girl i mean at a boy's school only imagine and the girl didn't even mind like yeah that's some liver that right there <laughs> but yeah that's what happened after he pinky promised me and i found out like two or three weeks later and i was so pissed because damn that was being played straight on like she literally went to sleep at a boy school only but it's fine it's fine so it didn't really bother me anymore because he showed me the kind of person he was so i was just like Ugh, i'm not gonna entertain this dude anymore like a leopard never changes its spots so what am i still doing here and then i got me some bantan you know <laughs> but <laughs> yeah i did get me some sugar baby but anyway so and the girl that went to sleep with him at his school came to my class this other day and with her friends and then she had she also had a girl in my class who stayed with her and she was like trying to prove a point to her friends uh telling her friends that my ex told her not to go home for the school holidays so that she could come sleep there again and he has some presents for her and she was so loud she literally made sure that i was there so that i could hear her i don't know if that's the case or but it's it was as if, the way she did it was as if i she wanted me to know to hear and i was like wow did you really have to come to my class she was in a lower grade imagine yeah she was a grade behind me and she had the audacity to come make noise in my class in front of my class where i was standing so that i could hear that my ex wanted her to come sleep there again because he had some presents for her i'm like did you really have to come to my class though you could have just had this conversation elsewhere but i'm not about that guy anymore so it's fine but y'all imagine that was like he was the player of the year i don't want to lie i don't care if he wasn't my boyfriend or not but imagine promising somebody that you won't be busy with other girls anymore just so that you could go call a girl to come sleep at your school <sighs> but yeah anyway i blocked the guy and we stopped talking for like four months but yeah we're not we're not good friends by the way he's a, he's a nice person despite all that he did he was just childish he was a kid so so grade 12 i wasn't chosen as prefect and you can imagine i'm like okay at least the hate won't be there anymore <laughs> i was lying to myself the girl that i told you first that i talked about early in this video was chosen as prefect and if you're watching this i don't care so you can imagine how she she made sure that I was gonna suffer but ugh, I didn't even entertain it I didn't even suffer much because <laughs> we spent a little little time at school due to COVID so yeah February I was writing a maths test the next day so I get into my class and I take my uh, study material because I wanted to um, because I wanted to go study in the study hall so when I get to class, that girl that I told you about earlier in this video who was telling my friend to stay away from me was like, oh, was in the class and there was just some negative vibes, negative aura, but I didn't take it to the head. So I got to the hall. My friend was in, my closest friend, my love, my, oh, oh, 
but yeah she was in that class and then she came to me in the hall before study time began she was like did you hear and i'm like did i hear what she was like didn't you notice how everything changed when you got into the class and i'm like no what are you talking about and she's like that girl that hater that number one hater got into uh was telling everyone in class how she was talking to her aunt about you and her aunt was like girls who like makeup at a young age don't ever make it in life and i'm like what do what does makeup have to do with making it making it in life are you bothered by the fact that i can beat my face up like so well are you jealous by the fact that i'm so beautiful are you jealous by the fact that you can't do any makeup and i'm like okay either way did you really have to like talk to your family members about me my hobbies what i like doing and what i don't like doing like people that don't personally know me you already recruiting haters from outside now not in the school anymore from outside and i'm like oh i'm not gonna mind this but to be honest it did bother me because what did i do to you that actually you see if you were the girl talking to my ex and i dated my ex while you were talking to him i would understand but it, it had nothing to do with you why 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 all the hate but either way we move so yeah fast forward um before trials <laughs> um i took a nude yes don't judge me if you have anything to say keep it to yourself please um <laughs> i had a nude and i wanted to send it to my friend yo my friend if you're watching this the friend that i wanted to send the nude to if you're watching this you were almost the cause of my death but yeah so i was um oh i was sending the nude to my friend and i mistakenly posted it on my status my whatsapp status and i was i managed to see that i posted it on my whatsapp status like very quickly but the problem was that people who have whatsapp G gb um were gonna see it either way so i think i moused my contacts um who were at my school two people had whatsapp gb and they were both close to me so i went to my baby my you my puntsununu and then i asked to see my status i wanted to see if the picture was really there or i managed to like remove it quickly but unfortunately it was there so quickly word got around that goki had a nude so the thing is that um my our phones would be given to us from like four to six each and every day so i posted the nude not long before our phones were going to be taken for the day so not a lot of people had the chance to see the nude so i was lucky but the thing was word got around that my nude was out there so um it was the talk of the night people delayed studying so that they could discuss my nude how they they were gonna get it oh you know those kind of things but so yeah um the next day people were eager to see my nude so i i knew that my baby was not gonna show them my nude so i just went to the other girl and i told her that please don't give anyone your phone because there were rumors that they were gonna borrow her phone so that they could screenshot the nude and forward it like make it viral and i'm like it didn't really bother me the nude didn't really bother me just the fact that i would be easily recognized because of my tattoo so people would know that it's goki it's goki and i yeah it's me like why why that is the first time that you see a naked body ah but yeah either way um luckily they didn't get the nude but there was another girl a girl that my ex kissed not the one that went to sleep at the school the one that was kissed that day when they were kissing 10 people <laughs> but yeah that girl i don't know if it's true or like people just didn't like her so they just started this rumor about her but they were like she said that she's gonna screenshot the nude and send it to the boys 
school so that it could trend and i'm like it bothered me a lot because she would come to me talk to me like everything was okay so i'm like you don't have to fake it if you don't like me stay away from me how uh -uh. but it did pass because there's always some drama at my school like though as time goes on the more drama there is the more weight each drama comes along with so yeah my nude story did pass but <laughs> Our phones were confiscated and they were like we're not gonna give you your phones anymore because there's a video of somebody naked running around and I'm like oh my god it better not be me but somehow I did know that it wasn't me because I didn't take a video and if it was me the priest would have came to me and caused a lot of drama like a lot so I don't even think that there was a video of somebody naked running around. I just feel like they wanted to confiscate our phones. Because that place was the pits. Like, I don't want to lie. The people there, the people in charge there were like so happy when we were unhappy. Like, they literally lived to see our unhappiness. I'm not going to lie. That was a very toxic environment that I would, wouldn't wish anybody to experience. But yeah, so there was this other girl who passed away and we had to like organize things for her funeral. We had to partic not participate, but we had like to go to her funeral and do something. So I had a friend, right? And she was like, okay, can you please write a speech for me? about her or something like that and i'm like can you please draft we are busy i think it was after trials before finals somewhere there i don't remember well and i'm like we are all busy can you please draft it and i'll correct it for you and she's like i don't know what to say first of all somebody died how can you not know what to say like even if you don't you didn't know the person death is something that you don't have nothing to say about like how can you be speech it's impossible so i i told her that i'm not gonna write the speech for you please write it yourself and i'll correct it and she was like it's fine some other girl said that she'll write it for me and i'm like okay ha little did i know that i was gonna lose a friend from that imagine but yeah it's something that didn't even bother me because i felt i generally felt as if the reason the girl befriended me in the first place was so that she could benefit a lot from me and i I literally saw that and just went along all the time so I was like enough is enough it didn't even bother me delete the fuck so yeah I started losing friends from there okay let me just not say I started losing friends I didn't have a lot of friends anyway so I did lose her as a friend and it didn't even bother me um <laughs> So it happened that I think a week or two before we finished with our final examinations, some girls were going to write that day and I wasn't writing. So they asked me to charge their phones for them. Mind you that phones were not allowed anymore because it was finals. So they were going to be distracting to us. So we, we didn't have to, we, we couldn't have our phones to ourselves. So if you had your phone, it was just oh you were just risking so we would charge our phones in some shady place and then so they went to write the exams and then i was uh, charging their phones but i left them there because i wanted to be busy with some stuff inside my dorm room so i charged my power bank i hardly left my phone at the charging points because i just felt insecure like my phone was very um inexpensive but i just felt as if people would like take my phone just for the fact that they wanted to see me um stressed out you know so yeah i charged my power bank instead and then i left their phones because yeah that's what they wanted them to charge and then after a few hours when i went to check the phones a few uh, an hour or two i don't remember an hour and a half i think yeah i went to check the phones the phones were not there and i'm like eh like nobody saw anything and only six of us were not writing that day like literally six of us so i'm like 
it has to be people amongst the six of us because how can phones go missing the metros don't know where we used to charge those phones so they were out of the picture like eh, and i'm stressed people's phones now eh. so um i'm not gonna lie i did say that there was one girl who desperately wanted an iphone and i suspected her to have taken the phones she was my friend yeah i know she was my friend but like the way that she desperately wanted an iphone i felt as if she was capable of doing that so i was like to be honest i suspect her because she desperately wanted the, an iphone so her selling those two phones could make her get one so <laughs> ex friend of mine who i refused to uh write a speech for was like cookie also wanted an iphone so it's possible that she might have taken the phone as well and mind you the reason i suspected her was because she was outside i was inside she was outside the whole time when the phones got lost she was outside so how could she not have seen anything if you didn't take the phones at least you could have seen something but she saw nothing um the priest actually um was involved with looking for the phones but it was just a dead end so I'm very sorry for losing your phones by the way but it was something that I had no control over so that friend of mine was like Koki also wanted a phone an iPhone so it's possible that she may have uh, taken the phones as well and I'm like wow from not wanting to write a speech for you to this without any proof like without any valid reasons and I'm like it is what it is hey it is what it is so yeah unfortunately we never found the phones and that was like that was it about my high school life that was the last event that happened in my high school life other than that my high school experience to be honest was toxic so yeah guys i think that this is it for today's video if you enjoyed this video please like comment and recruit others to subscribe please <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video bye